Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we get to hear about the familiar gospel of the rich young man. My brothers and sisters, conscious of our weakness before God, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no priceless stone to be her peer, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, at her hands, riches not to be numbered. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Fill us. 
Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, oh Lord, oh Lord, and we will sing for joy, Lord. from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is something alive and active. It cuts like any double-edged sword, but more finely. It can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit or joints from the marrow. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. No created thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and open to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him, and put this question to him. Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Master, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked steadily at him and loved him. And he said, There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But his face fell at these words, and he went away sad for he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked round and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted, My children, he said to them, How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever. In that case, they said to one another, who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, it is impossible, but not for God, because everything is possible for God. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you. This question that the man, often known as the rich young man, asks of Christ, what must I do to enter eternal life, centers essentially on that fundamental question, how can I be good, good enough to enter into heaven? Now, this young man, we don't know how old he was. St. Mark just calls him a young man. So perhaps he was in his late teens or early 20s, and he kneels before Christ. And clearly, he had sincerity of heart. He was genuine in what he was doing, or else Christ would have called him out on it. Or the gospel, the evangelist, would have said something about it, that he was doing this to test him or something like that. But he doesn't. But Jesus then starts to enumerate the commandments. Don't do this, do that. You, you know what they are as well as I do. Now, I've kept all these from my earliest days, he says. And I just ask you, how many people do you know who have kept their commandments fully from their earliest days and now they're in their late teens or early 20s? I mean, did this boy never have an argument with some other kid in the synagogue growing up? Did he never say a word that back chatting to his mother or father? I mean, was he a perfect child or something? You know, he wasn't conceived without original sin. So clearly, he was a very, very good man. But here he was in his goodness and clearly in his desire to want to be even better than he was. Jesus then drops the clangor. There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything and come follow me. And Jesus, although he had looked steadily at him and loved him, and only St. Mark has this detail, he turns around then because the man is sad and cannot let go of his wealth. And Jesus has that conversation then with his disciples. They are astonished and amazed, so that eventually he says, how hard it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. What was this man's sin, if you want to call it that? It was his lack of magnanimity to rise to great things. When we ask Jesus the question, what do you want me to do? We need to ask ourselves, am I truly willing to go to the extent that he calls me to do? Because Jesus is always going to call you and I to great things, to magnanimity. And this will mean some heroic sacrifice at times. Just make sure when you ask him that question that you're also ready for the answer. Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With open hearts, my brothers and sisters, let us turn to the Father, to pray for those in need, for everything is possible with God. For those participating in the first assembly of the Plenary Council in Adelaide, in your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer with depression and sadness, In your mercy, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, 
in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, nothing escapes your knowing. Hear the prayers of those who follow you. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. faithfulness and love this love can never be measured God's beauty is like nothing we have ever seen so let us place our trust in God pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father and the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Oh. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the King kingdom, the power, and the glory are you. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away of the world, grant us peace, grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I'm Brian Mascord. I invite you to consider, if you are able to, to provide financial assistance to help extend the 50-year legacy of Mass for You at Home.